Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy here from RoboDK. Welcome to another video of the tutorial series covering the basics of RoboDK software. Now that we know how to create simple programs, we need to learn how to export them. We can export them as a simulation or as real robot program. If you didn't see the first few videos, I highly recommend you to watch them before going further. Also, Remember that everything that I'm showing you in this video is complementing our online documentation. Okay, let's get started. Here we have our station with the programs we created. Let's double click the main program to start it. Okay, perfect. RoboDK offers you two formats to export your program. HTML and PDF. You could want to export your program to be able to show your simulation to your boss or a client without them having to install a complete version of RoboDK. Right click on the main program and select export simulation. In this new window, you can select your exporting format. Like I said before, you can choose between HTML and PDF. I'll start with HTML and I'll choose the main program. Now I just need to click start. The simulation will play itself and record itself at the same time. Once it's done, you can go on your desktop to play the simulation. Double click on it. It will open in your internet browser and loop through the simulation. We can come back to RoboDK and do the same, but this time with the PDF file. Note that the PDF file must be read by a PDF reader. It can't be read by your internet browser. Also note that this format is only available for Windows. Okay, now let's go back to the desktop and open the PDF file. That's pretty much the same result. Okay, back to RoboDK. Another way to export your simulation is to create a reduced version of RoboDK. Some kind of RoboDK viewer, if I can say. In the main menu, click File and then click Make a Demo Station. Choose your output path. Here, I will go for the .exe format, but the zip file would do the same. Click Generate File and wait for it a bit. You can now go on your desktop and launch the RoboDK demo file. You then have access to the RoboDK viewer. You can move the robot around. You can launch robot program and a few other things like that. Okay, let's go back to the real RoboDK. Now it's time to create a robot program that can actually run on the robot. To do that, right click on the main program and select Generate Robot Program. You can also use the keyboard shortcut F6. A text editor will appear with your program in it. In this case, it's a script file for the UR controller. You can then save that script and upload it in your robot controller. You could also have selected the send program to robot. This option will send the robot through FTP directly to the robot controller. The last option is the run on robot one. With this option, the robot will move at the same time as the simulation is moving in RoboDK. This option is not available for all robot brands. Before using it, take a look at our online documentation to see if your robot brand is supported. One last thing to say on that topic. The robot programs are created by various post-processors. Each brand has one or more post-processors. In a nutshell, a post-processor is a way to translate the program you created in RoboDK into an understandable language for your robot controller. They give you access to the basic of every robot controller, but if you want to go deeper and use fancier function of your controller, you can modify the post-processor yourself. In the main menu, 
select program and go all the way down to add an edit post processor. Let's select the universal robots one for this example. You can go down in the Python script and modify the part that you want. Okay, last thing for this video. RoboDK's development team worked very hard to offer as many features as possible. Unfortunately, not all features can be implemented directly in the software. To unlock them, you need to use what we call macros. Macros are scripts that influence the behavior of RoboDK. There's a bunch of these already available for you. Let me show you. Okay, let's open the local library and open the folder macros. All these files are macros that you can add to your project. Some are for welding purposes, others for calibration, others for camera, and others for cycle time, to name only a few. In our case, we will look for the spray on macro. This macro simulates the result of applying paint on an object. Let's open it. It will be added to our station. Now, if I double click on it, a small pop-up window will appear to ask me if I want to turn on or off the gun. Obviously, in this case, considering that it's the first time we are using it, we will click on on. Now that the paint gun is at on, I can grab the tool and bring it to the object. As you can see, some particles are generated on top of the object to generate the painting action. Now I can double click again on the spray gun macro and turn off the gun. I can then press escape to remove all the particles on the object. Next thing to do is to include that macro inside our program. Let's go in the main program and add a call function using the icon in the toolbar. Okay, now enter the name of the macro you want to use. Here, spray on. To avoid having to press on and off manually, we will enter the parameters directly here. So open the parenthesis, enter one for on, and close the parenthesis. Click OK. Do the same to stop the paint gun at the end of the function paint top. So add the function call, enter spray on, open the parenthesis, this time enter zero for off and close the parenthesis. Perfect. Now if we launch the main program, we can see blue particles everywhere the paint gun touched the object. That gives you a good idea of the surface that were covered and you can then readjust your path if needed. Okay, that's pretty much everything for that tutorial. I really hope it was helpful. The first section of the tutorial series is now completed. You should have enough tools to start exploring RoboDK yourself. The next videos will go deeper into every aspect of the software. For example, our machining features, our plugins, our robot drivers, or our API. Those videos will help you become power user of RoboDK's software. Have a good day, guys.